As the Walt Disney Company celebrates 100 years of wonder, Disney Vacation Club focuses its lens on treasures lovingly preserved in the meticulously restored office of our company's founder. We go now to Walt Disney Archives director Becky Klein, standing by in Walt's office on the studio lot in Burbank, California, to share her five favorite treasures in this special edition of Disney Vacation Club, Details We Dig. Number five, Framed Friendship. This particular piece is just enchanting. It's actually from 1961, and this was actually a fan photo that was sent to Walt Disney. That is Maurice Chevalier, the very famous French actor. And it says, to Walt Disney, with my absolution and admiration for his sins, past, present, and future. Father Maurice Chevalier. And this was with him working on the film Monkeys Go Home, which was a Disney film, and he played a priest in the local village. Number four, a battered briefcase. This object has a lot of history and a lot of story to tell. This was Walt Disney's briefcase. Walt Disney would go home every evening after work and he would take scripts home with him. Here's some of the scripts that he would take. And he would take those home and he would read them in the evening when he was at home with his family. This is a very battered old suitcase <laughs> that he carried around with him, but this briefcase is really just kind of special. It's got the initials Walter E. Disney, W-E-D, which fans will recognize from the name of his company, which was WED, or Walt Disney Imagineering now. But WED Enterprises was named after him and those initials. And you can see he listed them as W-E-D, and I'm sure he didn't put the Disney name on it because he didn't want it to get taken at the airport. But you can also see some of the stickers that he had on there that he pulled off. There's even an old U.S. Customs sticker on there that was pulled off at one point. Number three, early animatronic. One of my favorite pieces up in here in Walt Disney's office is something that is great historical significance to the Walt Disney Company. And that's this little bird that's hanging in the cage here behind me. This was something that Walt found either in a New Orleans or Paris, we don't know which one. He found two different birds at two different times. But these little birds were mechanical birds that he found, and he was enchanted with them. And that's what gave him the idea to do audio animatronics. And that is, of course, the science that Disney has invented to create audio animatronic figures, like tiki birds in Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room, and the Pirates of the Caribbean, and Haunted Mansion, and some of your favorite Disney attractions. So this is the little guy that was the grandfather of all of those amazing inventions. Number two, a practically perfect piano. So here in Walt's office is a really wonderful piece. It's a one-of-a-kind piano, and this is the piano that Walt had in his office where the composers and songwriters who worked for him would come and play new songs for him as they'd written them. Two of the most famous of Disney's uh, composers are the Sherman brothers, Richard and Robert Sherman, and this is the piano that they would play. Richard would tell a story that always enchanted me about how every Friday afternoon he and his brother Robert would come up here and Walt would be kind of winding down his day here in the office and he would just ask Richard to play for him and the song he always wanted him to play was Feed the Birds and uh, so this is the piano where Richard Sherman would sit and play Feed the Birds every Friday afternoon for Walt because it was his favorite song. And number one, listen to the landline. Here in the office of Walt Disney, this is the working office, and there's some really interesting pieces in here, but one of my favorites are, is this phone and this Rolodex. Walt Disney would, of course, have his secretaries who worked here for him who would put through calls from outside, but he made a lot of calls internally here, and he used this telephone to call animators and uh, musicians and directors and people all over the lot. And so these were his three lines that he could call with, and this is where he kept the numbers. And I just think this is so fun. I love this little Rolodex. And what makes me laugh is that so many of these names in here are huge Disney legends and amazing people. And to see that is really fun. One of my favorites, though, is to look here, and you can see it actually says Sherman Boys. So that would have been Richard and Robert Sherman, and he really did call them the boys. There you have it. Five of Becky Klein's favorite details in the restored offices of Walt Disney. While the offices aren't open to the public, there are numerous salutes to our company's founder in some of your favorite Disney destinations. What are your favorites?